Hello and welcome to DevSpot. Today I'm going to be showing you how to iterate over uh, some JSON data that you might have. And um, Vue has some really great ways of doing this, really intuitive, um, and you can really get this up and going super fast. So let's start here by showing you what our JSON data looks like. So it's just a, it's an array here of products that we have. Okay, so we have an ID, product name, and a price. And we want our um, web page over here to show each item individually um, with a label displaying the price and the name of the product. So within our view here, um, first thing you're gonna wanna do is import um, the JSON data. So you can do that within the script tag here. So we'll start out with import, we'll go with JSON data, and then you want to import it from its location. And this can depend on where you have it saved inside your project. So now that we have that set within the data method here, you're going to want to set that to a value here. So I'll set it to data. And then these two are bound together now, and we should be able to access the data that's within our JSON data file here. So we can test that actually before I show iterating over it. If you just do the two curly brackets like that and save it, you can actually see here that it updates and it has imported all of the product data. Pretty slick. All right. So now Vue has some really great ways of iterating over data like this. Um, you can use a V4 loop um, inside a div. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do now. Okay, so to set up the div to iterate over the data, I'll start out with a div here. And then we're going to want to go inside here and view provides this B4 loop here. Okay, so you can set this up by calling any item like this inside data. So item in data. Okay, and then this requires a key to be set. And I'm just going to set it to the ID attribute within our uh, JSON data. So I'll do that by item.id, and then there we go. So within the div here, we have it set so it'll iterate over each item inside our data. Okay, is that making sense? So let's set up, how about, I'll just put it in a p-tag here for a second, just to show you um, that this is working. So if you did really brackets like this again, and then you went to item dot, uh, what did we have? our product name. So here, this is how you're going to access each element of your JSON data by the uh, attribute name there. So we'll call this item dot product name. And we should see each product name within our JSON data show up. There we go. So we have a mouse, keyboard and a monitor. So let's go back and look at our JSON data. You can see mouse, keyboard, monitor. So it's iterating over each element inside our JSON structure here. But you can do that for each um, each value inside. So we could also get the price if we wanted. So let's set this um, similarly. We can just do item dot price like so, and then you'll see there that it has mouse fifteen ninety nine, keyboard twenty three ninety nine, and we can look over here and see that everything matches up correctly. Pretty awesome. And let's say you wanted to add another product here easy as changing each element of the data here. What do we want? Um, let's go with a microphone. How much a microphone is worth? We'll call it we'll do a $50 microphone. There you go. You can see that it automatically updates there. And it's just as simple as this. Like it's, I, this is why I really enjoy Vue. Um, there's a lot of, uh, little tricks like this and things that they've implemented that make, uh, sorting over JSON data and stuff like that. Super easy and super slick. Um, and then even if you wanted to make this look a little nicer, we could set up, set up labels and, uh, let's see. That. So I'll add another label to this one. Let's add a name attribute here. Let's And this needs to be product name. And inside this label, we'll add price. 
run each one of those and then I'll just bolt those so they're easier to see. Wait, bold. Sweet, so good enough. So there you can see, so the product name is mouse and the price is that way. So there you go, that's a super basic way um, of iterating over some JSON data that you might have. Um, and you can also do this with, say you had like an array, uh, like say you have like nested objects within your JSON um, data structure here. It's super easy to iterate over those as well. So let's, let's say like you had an array of items, you can access it um, by going in to certain indexes and accessing them. Obviously I don't have this set up right now. Um, oops. Um, like that, or there's another way that you can set up for loops uh, to have indexes um, within them. So it would be, for example, so for item, and then you do the comma index here, and then you would access certain indexes um, like so. Um, and if my JSON was set up to work properly like this, um, I could show you, I could do that in another video if you'd like. Um, yeah. so. There you go, that's a quick little tutorial um, on how to use JSON data in your view project and iterate over it pretty, uh, pretty quickly. So let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to show you. Uh, thanks for watching.